everyone, I'm Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars, and you are listening to the Magic Our Way podcast with Kevin, Danny, Eli, and Lee. And may the Force be with you. Jumbo, everyone! Harambe! And welcome to another edition of... The Magic Our Way! Magic Our Way! Magic Our Way! Magic Our Way! The Magic Our Way podcast! They are truly magical and whatnot. Sante Sana, everyone. You are listening to the Magic Army Podcast from New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States of America. We are artistic buffs talking about Disney stuff. And this is the show in which every opinion is welcome. MagicArmy.com is where you can find us for this episode. We help a long time a weekend with some Walt Disney World trip planning. And look, this isn't your typical polished practice pixie dust and Disney podcast. No, sir. We are not in the parks every day trying to tell you if the revision to Disney Enchantment improved the nighttime show or not. That's right, Kev. We're here to drink, talk some Disney, and give the people what they want. That's right. So you guys just keep on listening while we just keep on sipping. My name is Kevin. And I'm Danny. I'm Eli. And Lee here. And uh, if you need help planning that trip, just call me. I'm the sh**. What? Wow. Don't rhyme with trip. It does in my world. <laughs> Four strands. So when you think strand. when you think sh, think Lee's trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So enough of our jibber jabber, guys. Let's get our trip planning on. Cajun Ninja. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you know what that sound means? We have some announcements. Is um, that what that sound means? Usually we have something that doesn't really fit into any of our normal categories. It's I like, thought we were yeah, having like a not. Cajun seizure. Yeah, a Cajun square off. Seasoning. Mm. Mm. Not Cajun. seizure, seasoning. This is oh, a seasoning choice. This is a, on top of the show. Ooh. A little something, ooh. something. But I just little lanyap. Make, little lanyap. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh, little lanyap. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's French. You know, it's funny you say the that, Lanyap. Danny. <laughs> The reason why, I'm glad you said Lanyap, and that is French. You're right, sir. And I just wanted to announce that I am learning French. Oh! And oh. Japanese. I downloaded the Duolingo app, and um, yeah, I, I'm learning those two languages. Do you know why I'm learning those two languages? Because you're going to Disneyland. Because you're going to France. And then Tokyo. Because uh, I want to. At some point in my near future before oh, I die. Uh. I want to go to Disneyland Paris, and I want to go to Disneyland Tokyo. So I'm like, oh, I should probably learn some French, a little, certain, a little Japanese. And the reason why... Oh, it's because your wife's safe word is Kuyon. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, that's it. Or oh, Kyoto. Right. It's French. Kyoto. Oh, Kyoto. <laughs> she got, you got two. That's it's not French. French. No, it's, just it's Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, I was doing Japanese. two languages. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing See? Japanese and French. Ah, I'm, there I'm you go. There's doing all kinds of Duolingo stuff. That's Dude, right. Du, dos Duolingo. Right. Hey. Du, Duolingos, <laughs> yeah. No, but it's like ever since we did that trip, that trip report thing with Steven, and, and I've been watching like nonstop videos of like the Phantom Manor. Now I'm like obsessed. I want to oh. see this with my own eyes. Take the mask off so I can see with my own eyes. Because I've been watching the videos like, damn, this looks You know like Vader Adam. dies right after that, right? That's fine. <laughs> you know, if that's the last thing I do before I pass you better away. better put those girls through college first. There's three of them. That's what the life insurance is for. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> but yeah, I know. I've determined that I'm going to learn a little bit. So at least I could be, you know, uh, make it through. You don't have to learn French. They, are, they know English over there. In fact, you insult them by trying to speak French. Oh, good. I want to insult the shit out of them. <laughs> You really don't, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> hey, hey, you you do your trip. I am your man. trip's a shit, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. If I book right. it with Lee, especially. Exactly. Yes. Which language do you find is more difficult so far? Uh, Japanese, actually. That's what I was figuring. <laughs> you know, because I took years of Spanish, and it's odd because it's like a, a lot of French is the same as as, as Spanish because you know it's both Romance Man, which is like, oh, I can pick this up. You know, this is pretty easy. You mean watching Sato and the Karate Kid 2 is not improve your Japanese at all? It's very tough. No. Damn. Yeah. It's really, really tough. Mm. You got to watch like a Kurosawa movie or something like that. That's that's some tough stuff. That's called immersion, right? Yeah. You just throw yourself immersed, in it. Yes. But everything sounds fired up in Japan. I know. I'm excited. Man. Yeah. So you can't Rip tell off, uh, what's thing. going on. Yeah. You got to come in there with it, though. You know how they do this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. I got I got to bring the hustle. Some serious businessmen right, right there. The Kung Fu hustle. They, they tell the mouse what to do in their house. So you uh, gotta, Kung, Kung Fu's out. not even Japanese. You got to so. break the wood. 
Yeah, karate. I do. I break not, the bricks. Not, not bring the wood. Break the wood. Break it. I bring the wood. Yeah, didn't break, break the wood. Like didn't mock. You got to did mock it. Yes. There you go. Yes. But yeah, I just want to announce that to everybody to keep me accountable because I'm going to stick with this because this is it's actually kind of fun. A little app's fun. We're learning some words and stuff. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so you want us to quiz you? No, no. I'm just you know, I'll, I'll give, give reports to see how my French is going and see if it's Disney. You're going to do the thing okay. in French or Japanese and we got to no, no, no. I'm Say, just, oh, I'm just, I'm just doing it for my own edification. Like, oh, okay. You know, I hear that. It's like, yes, did I keep up with it? Maybe so. And y'all can feel free to ask me if First I kept test. up with it. All right. Uh, yes. uh, Kevin? Yes. Say, waiter, would you like to have the, a three-way with me and my wife? Um, uh, Garçon, trois, f***er, and uh, wifey. Wifey. I'm still in lesson one. I don't, you know, I, don't I would know. think yeah. menage a trois would have come right off the tongue with you. Oh, that's I right. Know. I forgot. Yeah. That was, God. That's French. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Mm. I failed. Yes, I'm still on lesson one. I haven't okay. gotten far. <laughs> I just started like two days ago. Go on, sab, but It should have been on lesson one right there, though. That's an important phrase. No, it's right there with uh, donde está el baño. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I just like the word for cat, which is chat. Un chat. Is cat? that right? Yeah. The C-H-A-T. French word for cat is chat. Chat. The aristocrats. Chat. The aristocrats. Aristocrats. Chat. Aristocrats. Is that how it's pronounced in French? Is it the aristocrats? I don't know if it's aristocrats in French. <laughs> That's been kind of funny, though. Can we bleep that? Do we have to bleep that? I don't know. I, well, French for cat. Language. I'm just saying French that, for cat. Is that Shots. rude? Because you're not well, using shot. it in the context. I don't yes. have the inflection as good yet, but it is yeah. definitely when shot. I'm shot. sure YouTube will let us know. Yeah, they'll let us know. But anyway, yeah, so I wanted to make that announcement. Quick oh, announcement, shot. too. Also, man, if you want to elevate your support of this, patreon.com forward slash magic our way. Please. Six awesome tears. Please do that. Uh, there's a lot of benefits that can happen, and more benefits are coming your way in the very near future. And uh, third quick announcement, my main man, Eli, he does things with comics, man. Tell him a little bit what you got going on. Oh, yeah, of course. You can always go to the Ivory Comics website and see what I have there for Savages, which is about a bunch of animals running loose in the zoo and a bunch of brave souls that have to contain them and the zoo politics that's involved with that. Project Geisha about a <laughs> Geisha vigilante and, of course, the Molly Be Dad, which is about a bunch of pirates going into the underworld, which came out before Pirates of the Caribbean, by the way. Uh, and, of course, you can see interviews and blogs. You you can always write me on the Ivory Comics website. And, of course, you have a link to the Magic Way podcast. So you can always catch up on your latest episodes. So please support Ivory Comics. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. And so there's just a couple of ways you can support the show. We'll get to some other ones in a little bit. But in return, we will also support our listeners. And so with that, we will go to our guest services segment. Be our guest be our guest put our service to the test tie your neck welcome to guest services and as i said this is the segment in which we get to service you the listener and back in july we received an email from courtney d longtime listener she says this she says hey guys i've been a long time listener i just said that. she is she has been I that's swear. awesome yeah that was awesome before. great start long time listener but i got behind a bit when i started working from home Everybody gets behind. Yeah. yeah. My commute was a podcast. Yeah. We, everybody gets behind. No worries. Yeah. We, we're, con- we're constantly releasing every week. I talk to listeners all the time. It's like, oh, my God, I'm so behind. I need to catch up. I'm like, don't. Don't catch up. <laughs> Just listen to the ones that sound good. Like, yeah. if, if the title sounds boring, skip it. But anyway, she says she's back <laughs> in the office and she's part time. That's what I to do. catch up. She's trying to catch up. And I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm sitting there laughing silently. <laughs> Like, there's nuggets in some of them. You got to do Sure, dig, no. But, yeah. Always nuggets. But, I mean, start with the ones that you really care about. Whatever will get you. Just yeah, support it. Yeah, but it sounds it. like she's going to listen to everything since then. I yeah. hope so, yeah, but y- y- it's not required. But thank you. As long as you download it. Yes. There you fine. go. There you subscribe, go. Subscribe. Leave a rating. Yeah. Uh, leave a rating. That's a great thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Always a rating. Patreon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We Get love your, your stepdad. Your stepmom, I mean. Your yeah. Dad, stepmom. All Listening is like the fifth most important thing you oh. could do. No. Oh. Seriously. That's why I tell. Uh, leave a rating. Get a like. Leave it on iTunes. Yeah, like. Give us a subscribe. Yeah. Go to Patreon. Simple thing. God. Yeah. Take just... you less than two seconds. Listening takes time. Yeah. 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 No. But it's invested time. There's nothing wrong with yeah. here. No. Know, we try to make it worth your while, but yeah. hey, we understand your while could be worth more than what we got to offer. Exactly. But she continues to say, she asks <laughs> this question, says, do you still do trip planning episodes? For you? For her, yeah. For you, we do. Ooh. Yeah, for her, we would. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not for anybody. But right. There's certain stipulations, yes. which will do an episode for you. But you, Courtney, we've known you for a while. You, you been qualify. In. You definitely qualify. She continues on. She says, I just booked Beach Club for late January. And oh, use, congratulations. Yeah. Nice. And she could use our input on what to do and when. And in parentheses, she says, yes, we booked with Lee. 
Oh, oh did you? Wow. Yeah, so we're definitely doing an episode. So your trip's going to be sh- <laughs> oh. <laughs> My condolences. No, no. Look, Lee's performance <laughs> far outlives his promos. I promise you. All right, so she continues to say, my family has never been to the world, but we frequent land often, multiple oh times my a year, God. in fact, and they have magic keys, so that's why they go off. Well, congratulations on that. Oh, my God, I'm kind of envious. Like, I'd I know, right? love to know her perspective going from the land to the world for the first time. As I, everybody I know and I've been able to talk to about it, is, it's always the opposite. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So I'd love to know the perspective on that. Just know that if you're, you're stepping on an attraction, the likelihood hood is is that you have a better version of it where you're used to i get where she's coming from though no, she no, has no, to no, see no. where not, it's at no 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 day. totally 100 yeah. percent. just a little what, quick word of advice yeah right. and wear comfortable tennis shoes yeah there you yeah. go you're gonna be doing a lot more walking nah, but walk. yeah much bigger definitely the size of is a fact you'll play spoiled with me picture, but, like let's l- picture disney world as if it's like a photograph you're like that looks so good and and when i'm saying it's like it's a photograph it's like a photograph of disneyland like that looks so good i want to blow it up and take it all in and then you blow it up and it comes a little bit more distorted and it loses (laughs) some of the resolution that's kind of what disney world is (laughs) but it's massive and you're enveloped in it and the good parts are still there the good parts that are obvious you can still see that's a bad analogy isn't it i think it works i think it works moving on no 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 you're gonna have a great yes. time. Right. Great so time. she My continues bad. on. She says, our focus is going to be things that we can't do at Disneyland, for example. She gives us as an example of what not to do. And character interactions are not going to be a big focus, focus of the trip because she could do it at Disneyland, right? Okay. And mm. so she says she wants to focus on things that she can't do at Disneyland. And she says, if y'all could give us some insight, we'd much appreciate it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Yep. Yeah. And she gives us a little background. She's a little background on us. We are a family of five, a mom, dad, 12 years old girl, mm-hmm. and three-year-old boy-girl twins. Wait, like they're twins. two three-year-old children, one's a boy, one's a girl? Yep, and they're twins, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like Dipper and Mabel. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> that's twins. absolutely right. That's awesome. She says the 12-year-old does not ride anything with any drops or things that give her butterfly sensations like in Radiator Springs Racers. When you go over the hills. Oh, that's what? tough. Yeah, she says, consider her a third toddler if you discuss rights. Wait a oh. minute. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. There's a dip? Like, yeah, really? It's like, you know, you just got, you know, you go like, oh, that's like a slight one. It's not a big drop. It's just like, oh. But it's enough for her to get a little airtime and not like it. So nothing like that. Nothing like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that that, so that backs out a lot of yeah. rides, short of a couple. Well, she continues to say, my dad and stepmom will be joining us, and so my husband and I will have opportunities for activities with the kids. Okay. You are lucky on that. Yes. That is awesome. When, Support. When and some people, The yeah. grandparents get involved, the, mm-hmm. the dad and stepmom, how you want to phrase it, but yeah. that's, that's great. And she says, we are planning on having seven-day hoppers with the following schedule, tentatively booked. She says, Tuesday, they're moving from Universal to Beach Club and checking out the area, the boardwalk area. Which is going to Universal Studios first? Yeah, it sounds like she's going to Universal Studios first. Is that right, yeah, Lee? Two full, two full days at Universal. Nice. Honestly, this is like the, the trip of a lifetime. You got two full days at Universal. That's awesome. Then you got one day in between just to kind of settle in, relax. Mm-hmm. Then you got like seven days of park hoppers plus a couple of rest days mixed in there. I like that. It's That's like a perfect. two week trip all together. I love it. A, Does she have nice. the Express Pass, Lee, where she can get to step? Oh, they all skip yeah, we'll get line. into that. We'll get into that. No, okay. Better question is, does she have the phone number of the place that employs her that lets her work from home and then books on the <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I want that job. Yeah, two weeks off, job. yeah. <laughs> Give me Stop. that. Maybe Stop. she has a bunch of hours accrued, PTO. I don't know. Yeah, she deserves this. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, all right. right. But she, yeah, she runs through the thing. Wednesday, they're at MK, uh, Magic Kingdom with extra evening hours. Thursday is Hollywood Studios. Friday is Animal Kingdom. Saturday is a rest day. Sunday Epcot with the kids. Monday, Epcot without kids. Extra evening hours. Ha ha. Tuesday, the following week, rest day. Wednesday, Magic Kingdom. Extra evening hours and partial day without kids. She's still vacationing? She's still there. There's two more days. Oh, my God. Thursday, Hollywood students then hop on to anything we missed. And then Friday is a rest day. The pack prepare for travel, hoping for early flight Saturday. I am super jealous. I know. I am, too. I love that. This is genius. Like, go, go all out. Couple of days, rest day. What, what part? It, it, was there like, like a Wednesday, take my favorite podcast to come meet us? Uh, no, I th- it might be in the fine print. I'll have to All blow right, it up check a little it out. bit. Blow yeah. it up. So mm. it's, it's probably still a got a lot of time to plan, though. That's, this isn't January. Oh, it's so not it's over yet. Okay. 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 Potential. Potential. That's, but well, we that's are. my first advice. Yeah. Make sure your favorite podcast crew is there with you. There you I go. agree. I second that motion. And Anytime. we babysit. 
Not yeah. well, but we. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Look, if you wanted to go on the rides and then your kids were there, you was worried about something. We will sit with the kids and like look menacingly at the outside world, and no one will mess with your kids. We we're good at that. Yeah. yeah we Eli and I are six foot two. No one's yeah, messing with no us. No one's That's messing right. with us. I'm an anger island. And he plays for the Seattle. Uh, yeah, I play for the Seahawks. Yes, the Seahawks. Seahawks. Right. Hey, Kevin, Kevin doesn't mean hookah. Yeah. That's right. I do. Yeah, I do, I do my thing and then uh, scare him off. That man scares like eight foot tall ball people. Like, dude, <laughs> this no tall. joke. <laughs> Just not diehard villains. That's right. Yeah, I'm not good with diehard villains. Yeah, and then she ends her email with a bunch of questions that she wants to answer in the show, which is great. And she says thanks in advance, Courtney. So yeah, so that we'll talk about your questions, Courtney, when we get to the next section of our show. And definitely thank you for writing in. It's always good to hear from you. And thank you for enjoying our trip planning episodes, mm-hmm. whichever ones they were. I don't remember which ones we did. And thank you for booking with Lee, because that yeah. is one thing that we do believe in here at the Magic Right Podcast. If you book with Lee, we will have you on the show if you want to talk about it. It's yeah. up to you. Uh, that We're not going to harass you or talk to you about it. If you want to come on the show and you book with Lee, we'll have you on the show. If you book with Rachel, we'll probably still have you on the show because we like Rachel, too. <laughs> <laughs> And she's a fan, and she listened. Right. She's a long time fan. Yeah, we yeah. inspired each other, so it was a synergy thing. Yes, but uh, if it's a, it, you know, if Rachel booked a trip and Lee booked a trip, and we got one show to do, we will flip a coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, we. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We'll have a race for it. What do you guys look? It sounds like <laughs> this weekend needs some help. She wants some suggestions. So, what sure. do you say we get to it? Absolutely. <laughs> Well, guys, welcome to the hub. This week, it is a trip planning hub inspired by Courtney D's email. She would like suggestions for an upcoming trip to Walt Disney World. All right. Again, thank you, Courtney, for booking through Lee. But weekends, as you may remember, a portion of every booking goes towards helping the Magic Ori podcast. Mm -hmm. Lee, sir, if the weekends want to be like Courtney, how can they book a vacation with you? All right, so first of all, guys, I really appreciate you guys listening to the show and supporting uh, the Magic Our Way podcast. Of course, every time you book with me, a portion goes back to the show. That helps us uh, deliver this great content for you guys. Absolutely. Always as a reminder, I do book things other than Disney, but of course, I book all the Disney destinations. Disneyland, Olani, Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney, Disneyland Paris, anything Disney, we are definitely in there. If you need anything else, all-inclusive, Mexico, Caribbean, Hawaiian, Sandals, Beaches, all the major cruise lines, any of that stuff. I do that also. I do try to treat every vacation as if it's my own. My mission is to basically plan as much of a stress-free vacation for you guys as possible. We want you to have these memories for the rest of your life. Please contact me. Real easy. You can call me at 832-431-1621. You can email me at lee at magicourway.com. Instagram, you can find me at you got a friend in Lee Travel. And on TikTok, you got a friend in Lee. If you do any of that, we'll get you hooked up and booked up with no. Hasselvika! Thank you very much, Lee and Eli. And so, guys, yeah, let's get the full picture of her trip and break down her email, shall we? Yeah. To start, let's look at the when, the where, and her travel party, based upon what she wrote. Just a reminder, we just read this. She said she is traveling to Walt Disney World in January 2023. They're staying at the Beach Club, and her travel party consists of... Good choice, of, by the way. Yeah, that Beach Club, yeah. nice. Yeah. Very good choice. Yeah. I'd love to stay there again, actually, at some point in the future. Side of a great race between. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> you oh, side yeah. of a great defeat. <laughs> oh, that was good times right there. Yeah, video good time. That's awesome. Um, anyway, a travel party is Courtney's family, which is a family of five. As I said, there's Courtney, her husband, twelve-year-old girl, mm-hmm. and two three-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. And then we also have Courtney's dad and stepmom who will be joining them, which, if she's mentioned, will be giving them an opportunity for some adult time. And we'll definitely address that in a little bit. Um, is there anybody else, Lee, that you remember that the broken with? Is that's pretty much the travel party? That's everyone right now. Who knows what the future holds? You know, maybe sister, brother, or somebody else finds out about this trip and wants to come along. I'm not sure. But right now, that's everyone we got. Booked. I want to go along. I can tell I you that. Was, My God. You are not alone on that this one. Is, Awesome. This sounds like the vacation to end all vacations. Yeah. I mean, first of all, just before we get into the Disney stuff, let's just back up a little bit with Universal. Staying at Royal Pacific, so they've got the mm. Unlimited Express Pass. Good nice. Resort. Great I love location. That resort. And not just that, but they're getting two full-blown days. Now, keep in mind, she's coming from the from the West Coast, so that first day, there's not going to be a lot to do. Sometimes, you know, depending on how early you can get in, that might be okay to go to the park that day or something like that. But they're going to have traveled all the way, you know, from... Mm-hmm. 
the whole other side of the United States to get here. So that first day is just going to be unpack, relax, get settled in. Yeah. But then they got two full days at Universal, again, with that Express Pass. And then on the fourth day, they're going to check out and go over to Disney. Well, when you're dealing with two three-year-old kids at Universal, that may be one more day than you even need. I mean, to be quite honest with you, yeah. I mean, it's not that many things for two, Little three people, year olds yeah. Yeah, yeah. to do. And then in addition to that, if you're not really big on drops, I mean, that takes Jurassic Park out of the equation. That takes... Oh, oh, Velocicoaster, uh, Hagrid's. Yeah. It's not going to be... All the all the Harry Potter stuff will probably be a little too intense. Yeah. Well, they won't be tall enough, I guarantee you. Yeah, you can't do Hulk. Yeah, but you yeah, got to no remember the 12-year-old for the Hulk. is going to be treated like the 5-year-old. <laughs> like, basically, like, they don't... The 12 year olds not going to want to do anything big. The, oh, okay, so the 12 year olds the one with the, the drop? Yes, issue? the drop oh, issue. That's correct. Okay, yeah, all probably. right. But still, the 3 year olds probably won't be of height. Yeah, yeah, that's the bigger issue because they have a lot of height restrictions at Universal. Y'all be riding minions a lot, Doctor Seuss. Maybe Transformers. You could do that. Well, my three-year-old might got on Transformers. Not too bad. Yeah, uh, He's short. But if you say Radio Springs, just because like that's not even a big drop. This is like whoop, whoop, like a little hill. In the so, slightest, yes. Yeah, a, I didn't even register that as being a drop. Yeah, there's a. But I think it's the issue of feeling weightlessness. Yeah, that's no, what no, I no, yeah, no, think, yeah. no judgment. No, no, no I'm not judging. I think it's the airtime. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure. Out. But Transformers would be good. I, yeah, Transformers would be good. I guess Spider Man to that. It's kind of the same ride system. Yeah, it's it's yeah, just movement, but not nothing crazy. As yeah. long as you got something cool to look at, that's what I'm wondering if that's a fact that that yeah. will help. I will say this: the good thing about with Universal, number one, they do, they are having the grandparents going to be there as well. So you know they're going to be able to switch off if there's something that the kids don't want to ride or they're not big enough to ride. The adults can go on while the other ones hang out. It's also it's so easy to navigate back to the hotel. So easy. Yeah, go back like, and just like, hey man, you know what? Let's go back to the hotel for a little while, or let's go to City Walk. Yeah. yeah. Universal is just so easy to navigate. Everything is just in one spot. Sure. It is so. nice. And they got a great little pool at Royal Pacific, too. My kids seem to enjoy it. So oh, I always right. wanted to go to the pool, obviously enough. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So she's not asking us our advice about Universal. I will yeah. give one thing. Ride the mummy for me. I love the mummy. Oh, they cannot ride the mummy. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop that. The parents can, but the 12 year old cannot. Yeah, the parents can do it. So Courtney yeah. and Hub can do that. I know my little ones enjoying Men in Black. They wanted to ride that over and oh, over. Oh, you know again. what? That's a good one. Men in Black yeah. is a good one. Like that. Shooting aliens and the Don't spinning. ride the Simpsons. Yeah, that's rough. Whatever yeah, you do, it's don't really tempting because it's, you know, there's no height restrictions, but unless you got a strong stomach, that is rough. I would it I'd is. skip that one. You're you're you can't wait to get out of that. Even even when it was yeah. Back to the Future, I wanted out. Yeah, terribly. Wow. Um, et is fine. They, the kids can ride et. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's e- simple e- one. good. No Jurassic Park for the twelve year old. No, yeah, well, it's just really one drop. But it's a big enough drop. She probably wouldn't dig it. Yeah, if we don't it's, like it's, drops. We do not. It's just a <laughs> splash yeah. mountain sized drop. But yeah. all right. Probably, yeah, but we're, decor- yeah, we're, we're not universal. She didn't ask for universal yeah, plans. Oh, but fair enough. Yeah. She's like, uh, I got that. But that's I got an awesome. Plan. That's an awesome start. That's an awesome right, start. Right. We could do universal too now, listeners. Yeah, if you want. We've been yes, there too. We will we do, yes. do it. We could definitely do that. Mm-hmm. But beyond the scope of your email. But anyway, Universal Hollywood and Orlando. Exactly. We did that. Yes, there you we go. We did that. Did that. So uh, she reports that she's planning to have a seven day park hoppers. Lee, what can you tell us about this part? Is she planning to get Genie Plus while she's down there? Did you like me? What, what you got? What information do we have so far to date? So a couple of things. Uh, yeah, we definitely have the park hopper. We also have the water park option as well. Yes. Oh, my girl. Yes. There you go. That's smart. Big That's suggestion. Ahead. Absolutely. Big brain. Good time. We have three rest days in here. And yeah. Technically, even the first day that they move over, they could, you know, technically use a, a water park day then too, because with seven days of park hoppers with the water park option, you have seven trips to the water park. That's true. Well, but seven chances because right. she's going in January and she did make a comment about how I don't know about pool days because we're going in January. It's going to be cold. Yep. Cold in January is like, what, 72? Yeah. yeah. Which is- yeah it's, it's a lot warmer in January in Florida than you think. Yeah, it's probably colder in California at night than exactly. it is now than it 100%. is in Florida during. And winter. even if it's not, all the resort pools are heated. Yeah, that's true. It's very so true. Um, you're going to have a lot more opportunity for swimming time. And it, it, is it going to work out for every day? No. There was one time Kevin and I went in January, and there were two days where it was freezing cold, and two more days where we were in shorts. I always tell this story, man. We went for New Year's, and so we got there on New Year's Day, and we did. With the kids, we have one picture of them in front of the castle. They got shorts, t-shirts, 
the whole deal. The next day, we were in front of the castle. They got beanies, hoodies, scarves. Yep. Like it, the the cold weather came in that night. But again, like you said, two days later, we were back at it. It may get a little cool, but more than likely, the majority of your time, it'll it'll be warm enough to at least get in the pool. Yeah, the the weather's very schizophrenic over there, and so when you have like a, a rest day that coincides with a day that you you're like, okay, we could definitely do outdoor activities. Run, don't walk to Typhoon Lagoon. Absolutely. Yep, I've got I got it written down here to hit Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. Uh, again, since you've got these rest days built in, you don't even have to spend the whole day there if you don't want to. Just hit it up in the morning, you know, till the kids get tired of walking around the park, yeah. and then and bounce because again, you could. If you plan two days, you still have five other days that you could say, hey, let's just go over to uh, Typhoon Lagoon for a couple hours. If yeah, you want to. please, 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 please don't make the mistake a lot of other people make and just assuming that the water parks aren't real theme parks and that, you know, instead of ri- checking out something new, I need to ride Pirates for the 18th time. And, and like I said before, you chances are if it's a doppelganger tra- attraction, you've already ridden the better version of it a million times. Now, obviously, give your kids the experience as well. Sure, I don't need to tell you that, but I'm just saying the water parks are fun for all ages. I yeah. mean, it hits every age group, old, young, in between. It's uh, really Typhoon Lagoon to me is my my paradise spot. I, I can't say it enough. So if you get the opportunity, please take it. Well, I mean, talk about like not at Disneyland. This is definitely not at Disneyland. Yes. So take advantage of it for sure. Mm-hmm. A Disney water park. I mean, come on. Yes. It's good it, stuff. It's good it stuff. is really, it deserves to be brought up in the same breath as the theme parks. Cool. And you mentioned, what, what about Genie Plus? Did you talk about that? I don't remember if you said anything. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably reanalyze that when we get a little closer. Of course, right now, you can't add it in beforehand anyway, mm-hmm. so it's kind of wait-and-see type situation. Right. The positive is that you don't have to get it for every day. They're spreading their, their days out enough to where they probably don't need it for two days at Hollywood Studios. Maybe they use it for one day at Hollywood Studios. Maybe they use it for one of their days at Epcot. Okay. Especially on the quote-unquote adult day, probably not as critical because it's going to be more about drinking and eating around the world and, and things like that. So you probably don't need the Genie Plus for your second up. Mm-hmm. Um, might not need it for Animal Kingdom. So that is a positive of not adding it beforehand or not being able to add it beforehand. Whereas before, if you had seven days of ticket, you had to buy seven days worth of Genie Plus. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. On a long trip like this... This actually works to your advantage where you can just say, hey, you know what? We just want it for these three days or these two days or these five days or whatever the case may be. I think we're also going to look at it a little closer to, you know, like December and see what is being offered on Genie Plus because that changes frequently. Okay. What we think might be good today might not agree, you know, uh, a month from now, two months from now, especially a month from their trip. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So now that we have that picture, her travel party, when she's going, where she's staying, um, let's remember the purpose and the background of Courtney's request for trip planning advice, okay? Okay. Number one, her family frequents Disneyland. Okay. Number two, this is her family's first time at Walt Disney World, although I can't remember if Courtney's been to Walt Disney World, but I, she definitely says her, this is her fam- family's first time. I don't know. Lee, do you know anything about that? Somebody you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember her stating that she's been before, but okay. uh, as you said, she definitely let me know from the beginning that they wanted to, this is probably going to be also one of those once-in-a-lifetime trips yeah. where... You know, yeah. it's so far away. They want to do it right. Like, Unbelievable. They want to do it yes. big, and they they are. <laughs> but, yeah, that's even more sure. of a uh, of an argument for the water park. Though. Exactly, exactly. And, yeah. But, so I, I know she's written them numerous times before, and I just can't remember if she's inv- individually by herself gone or not. But anyway, she can correct me on that. But definitely, her family as a whole is first time. Mm-hmm. And then, as Lee was saying, this is uh, the folk. This the focus of their trip is to do things that they can't do at Disneyland. Yeah, uh, can sure. I just say something like you? Just Absolutely. realize in advance of going that the, the idea of four parks as opposed to two parks sounds like, oh my God, there's so much more to do in Disney World than there is in Disneyland. And there really isn't. There is things to do. But really, the majority of the stuff, that was, a, to me, one of the most impressive things when I went to Disneyland the first time, how much y'all pack. And those two uh, itty bitty place, yeah, itty bitty living space. Y'all yeah. get a bit of every park in Disney World: the Magic Kingdom, the, the Epcot, Hollywood Studios, even Animal Kingdom. Y'all have something of that in there. 
So now that we have all that, to organize our recommendations and uh, and to answer Courtney's questions, we're going to go by each area of the Walt Disney World Resort. Absolutely. Right? All right. So we'll talk about all the parks and then cool. everything else in the world. Mm-hmm. And then within those areas, as she asked for, we'll, we'll give her recommendations on the following categories. Uh, dining, attractions, things to do without the kids, while the grandparents watch them, and maybe other things to miss that okay. we feel like that should be addressed. Does that sound good? That sounds good, but yeah. you'll have to repeat again as we go Oh, yeah, yeah, it. we'll do that. Because I, I have the questions and stuff yes. that you put in an email yes, all yes. that time. We are drinking while we do this. I mean, keeping track of stuff is not our strong suit. Sipping right. while they listen. Right. There you go. So all the scheduling stuff and whatever, uh, you know, I know she put the schedule in there, Lee, but I trust that you can handle that piece. Yeah, again, I looked at the way she laid it out, and I, I don't really have anything that I would recommend differently. Uh, I like starting off with Magic Kingdom right off the bat. That's always... So you want to you get know, into recommendations for the scheduling is, is what you, it sounds like you want to do. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying like, based on what she, the way she wants to lay out her days, I think it all makes sense. There's nothing where I would say, Hey, no, I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that that way. Uh, I like that rest day on Saturday because the parks are going to be pretty busy. So like, Hey, you know, that's a day to not be in the park. So that's pretty solid. Again, I like starting off at magic kingdom. I like the, like kind of that follow up with Hollywood studios at the end. Cause like, and to note, it's not Magic Kingdom on a Monday either, so she's doing it on a Wednesday, which yep. is good. Okay. Well, Fair especially enough. coming from Disneyland, where Magic Kingdom is probably going to be a little bit of a letdown for them. Right, right. But either way, I, 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 think, I think the way the schedule's laid out is good. Again, those rest days are kind of alternating. you got three days in the park, rest. Two days in the park, rest. Two days in the park, rest. I love that. Um, so that's that's nice. Just The only thing I would just say, keep in mind with the park hopper, you don't necessarily, and she knows how the park hopper works, but you don't necessarily have to say well i'm going to be at epcot because of the magic hours you can always hop over you know to the park that's got the extra magic hours if you don't want to start there but yeah but for the purposes of the park reservation she needs to have at least a starting yeah we got to lay out the park reservations themselves so don't feel like oh well i've got to start at epcot because it's got the magic the magic hours no you could start at animal kingdom and hop over epcot or or whatever yeah so so is this the first time that when i've read that email is that the first time you heard a proposed schedule yeah, actually, this is oh, we okay. haven't quite got there yet because again, they're they're pretty far off. Oh. And I usually try to start laying this out when we start talking about dining because you need to know what parks you might be at um, for your dining reservations. Oh well, you know what? Then that's a good so. thing that yeah. we we doing this before. Yeah, before the ADR stuff opens yeah. up. Yeah, and good for Courtney for writing us in July, knowing that we wouldn't get to it till now. Mm. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> listener right there. <laughs> that's a listener that knows how we operate with our emails. She sure. knows what goes on. She's she downloaded some up. episodes at her time. It's almost uh, less of the year, but definitely more than six months away. It's so almost prophetic. Prefer. All right, so let's get to it. I figure we should, you know, we can make our reservation, but I figure as a Magic Ari podcast, we should come with a consensus of what we would re- recommend. Okay. Because yeah. the questions are kind of specific, right? Hmm. So let's go to Magic Kingdom. Okay. And the first question she says, and I have a couple extra bullet points to go with it. All right. She says, one dining reservation suggestion per park. And for this one, we're starting with Magic Kingdom. But she also says, we don't love the idea of spending too much time with sit-down meals on a park day unless it's they're truly worth it. And she also says, we are more of a counter service type family, plus lots of snacks to make more time for attraction. So with those two parameters, wow, she's looking for maybe one dining suggestion, and we're starting with Magic Kingdoms. Okay, wait. Before we get into the dining out, so we're going right into dining. Like, what about the attractions? Uh, I'm going to get to that. Okay, I'm doing, the best for I'm doing last. dining first because that's our very strong suit. We can okay. talk about food, no problem. That's what he learned in French class. That's Save what I learned in French class. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, dining, I know we could talk about that forever. It, it's like, it's like skipping the foreplay and going straight to the full course Never meal. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> straight to the buffet. Yeah. Eat exactly. it up, baby. All right, so dining recommendations yes. in Magic. Well, fortunately, if you talk Magic Kingdom, there is no table restaurant that is a must-do. Yeah, it's, Magic it's Kingdom. limited. Yeah, I mean, I would recommend Skipper Canteen, but even then, I wouldn't say it's a must-do. It's no, like, okay, not at if all. I'm going to be here, this is where I'd go. So what are the ADRs? So it's the Skipper Canteen, the Plaza, the Cinderella, Tony's, Cinderella, and... Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. That's it, right? Crystal Palace. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Crystal Palace. That, is that it? I think that's it. That's it, huh? I thought about this when I read the email originally. I think we might have a challenge here with the comparison between the counter service and Disneyland and the counter service here. I think the counter service in Walt Disney World is not going to be as good as what you get at Disneyland. That is true. Mm. That is true. So it's just kind of keep your true. expectations in check. That, yeah. That we do so, feel that. Whereas, I'm not going to say that the table service is better here, but you do have more options than at Disneyland. So yes. there's that. That's a so, great point to make, Lee. Yep. Yes. I mean, like, counter service, Magic Kingdom, nothing really 
just stands out. Oh, I got I mean, one for me that always stands Sleepy out. Maybe Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. No, I'll, yeah, Sleepy Hollow refreshments is something that stands out to me a lot. It, oh, y'all forgot Liberty Tree Tavern too when we talked about dining. Oh wow! Sorry. Yeah, Liberty oh, okay. Tree Tavern is another one. Yeah, um, that's ADR. Yes, yeah, is ADR. You're right. Yeah, that's ADR. And, but that's it, right? I, I don't think, think we'll, look. Else. I think we're all going to have our preferences as, as it comes to counter service over there at Magic Kingdom. But I think to Lee's overall point, yeah, no, there are some. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this. Just say yeah, it. Just say it. Just there say are it. some restaurants in Disney World that are just considered downright wretched. 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 Ratchet. I didn't <laughs> think you was going ratchet, son. <laughs> Evil Apple. Damn. So you want to avoid those. There's and and that's not even just counter services. Like I'm talking about like there are people who have sworn off Tony's Town Square because they've had physically ill symptoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've heard from, that from eating over there. So that's um, a no. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's a good solid point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not Tony's. The counter service stuff, okay. There again, Lee's so right, man. Like it's the, it, it's tough. I mean, the only one I would go with is is Sleepy Hollow. And that's about it. That's the only one I hit. Okay, so here's what I would say: Columbia Harbor House. That, that's exactly. Oh yeah, it. Columbia Harbor House. Columbia Harbor House. Yeah, I like Columbia Harbor. That's yeah. my number one choice. Yeah. If you're gonna do one of any of those. It has ample seating. It's indoors. It's air conditioned. The food choices are not your stereotypical hamburgers, hot dogs, yeah. you know, whatever the hell. But it's solid. It's, it's a very solid. It, it is. Yeah. And it's a pretty good value for what you get. It's The, the servings are good, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, would argue, I would argue the same thing with Sleepy Hollow, but there's no indoor seating. It's outdoors. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, that's the that's the drawback. So if I had to choose with that, then yeah, Columbia Harbor House. And I actually visited both the last trip. It was good. Columbia Harbor House is really good. Yeah, and then I mean, again, they'll have two days of Magic Kingdom, so you you could do both. You could do yeah, both. You, know. you definitely do both. But if yeah, going ahead, if it's the official Magic Our Way recommendation, I'm with Lee. I Columbia Harbor House. I can go. I can live with Columbia Harbor House for sure. Yeah, but maybe I, sneak in Sleepy Hollow if you get a chance. Yeah. Yeah. But is it safe to say maybe there's not one reservation we would pick? If I, you know, if I had to pick one, I'd do Skipper Canteen, and I'll just throw out Cinderella's just because it's Cinderella's. <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm not telling you to go there because the food is great. What's the counterpart to it in Disneyland? To Cinderella's Royal Table? Yeah. Is there anything? Well, it's definitely not in the castle. Yeah, no. See, that's nothing. again. So that's why. <laughs> that's why I have to at least mention it because it's very unique and it's kind of iconic. You're looking at the back of the castle. Though. I can, I I mean, can pass it. It's not like you're... But you are still eating in the castle. I can pass it. You are. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's the first time on this side. Yeah, it's the first time. He's right. Sure. That's a feather in his hat to say that. But having said that, there is something to be said about you're supposedly eating in the castle in Be Our Guest. Yeah, that's true. I would pick Be Our Guest. If we, if we had to pick one out of that... you pick Be Our Guest over Cinderella's? I would, and I would. I'll tell you why. I think the interaction there to me. I'm gonna go with you better. on that. I, I would I, agree with. Yeah, it. I think there's a lot more uh, atmosphere. If I don't pick either, but if I had to pick one, I would go with Beer. Yeah, well, kind of like I would. I know they were strongly suggesting doing the kind of service, and I was gonna be like, look, hit a couple of those places, man. Get your dessert from this place, get your meal from that place, and then call it. But if we had to pick a, a place, yeah, uh, Beer Guest is kind of like a mix of counter service and sit down. Yeah, essentially, it, it, right? It's, it's still a it's still a salad meal, not like woo that food yeah. blew me off the chain. But I mean, you know, you get to see if you're a fan of Beauty and the Beast, absolutely, you get the whole ambiance of the place, and I think it's one of the better locations that tells the story of a Disney property. That's I can't even location. say the food's maybe a slightly better. It's edible. You know, you're not like, ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's edible. That's what counts. There's the argument. There you it's go. edible. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Hey, Be uh, our guest. I'm done. It's hey. edible. I can yeah. see Courtney right now. She's like, I'm eating off site a lot this trip. I mean, you know, we gave the, we said, don't eat at Tony. So I was like, hey, at least we got to, you know, work All it right, up. Look, hey, look. Ahead, sir. All right. So uh, y'all, y'all kind of weighed in. Let me, let me. Yes, uh, go ahead. Go for it. I, I'm gonna side with Lee on this one. I'm gonna say gun to head. If I gotta pick between be our guest or Cinderella's roll table, keeping in mind this is my once in a lifetime trip, I'm gonna go with Cinderella's roll table because I'm eating in the freaking castle. The food is kind of what and what. Neither one is gonna blow your socks off, but there is that sense of there's a view. There's there's definitely a view. There's princesses that are gonna be walking around the room interacting with my kids. I would go with that. If gun ahead in this limited scenario, yes. I, if I had to pick one, I would pick that. So now it's on you, Courtney, <laughs> to break the tie. <laughs> the only thing you just need to keep in mind is that a lot of things can change between now and January. And right now, 
Cinderella's Royal Table is just Cinderella. Now, again, I would hope. Character-wise, that's it? Whoa. Yeah, that does change things. Hello, welcome to my house. I'm a Cinderella. <laughs> He's like, where else you got? Where, where your princesses at? Where your peoples? I'd love to greet with you along with all my sisters, but I'm in the back washing dishes, so I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard keeping up this place by myself. All hands on deck here at the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> all hands on deck. Somebody give me a towel. Wow, that sucks. Dang. Just keep that in mind. And again, yeah. hopefully that changes by January, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it before we before we book it. Leave it to Lee to take away the one point that I kind of agree with him on. <laughs> no, I mean, I'd, I'd still go Cinderella's. I mean, it's just the quintessential Magic Kingdom experience for dining. I'll just throw it out there. I, I'm gonna, uh, food-wise, I'm going to pick Skipper Cantino or any of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know we weren't saying what we had yeah, to do, Yeah, I know we're though. talking Pickwick Castle, but I was like... It, it just, 100%. I don't know what uh, taste buds are like for Cordy's family and whatnot. She can make that judgment call. Having said that, last time we had Skipper Tantina, it was it was starting to come down. Yeah, that's the only, it was yes, starting the only to come thing. Down. It started it, it out always strong. Starts out, yeah, that's how it always starts. That's like out. Tiffin's. To, oh, yeah. We'll get to, we'll get to oh. that part. But it was like Tiffin's. It started great. Then it, it, it starts to deviate towards uh, the mean. Space 220. Suck. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not offended by that. <laughs> hey, you know what? I bet you those two three-year-olds have a blast. At, at oh, Space you're probably right. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I bet you they would. I bet you they would, yeah. yeah. It's safe to say that we had to pick one. That it might be Cinderella's World Castle for reservation, but don't feel compelled to make a reservation. No, in that park, is that safe to say? Well, the beauty is she's not asking us to. We're yes. split. Skipper Jane King for food, for ambiance, atmosphere. If you need to do a table sit down, it's either Cinderella's Roll Table in the castle or your be guest. our guest in the faux castle. Yes, but it, it's six yeah. to one, half a dozen of the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in counter service, we mentioned Columbia Harbor House, or maybe. Yeah, uh, Sleepy Hollow as a second. We were we were all yes. in g- agreement on Columbia Harbor House as the recommendation. Yes, but yes, Sleepy Hollow. I don't miss it. And what, what I don't miss yeah. Casey's. I don't miss Casey's. Yeah, you know you're right. Don't they have something like a Casey's like that? Or? They don't have the corn dog. They don't have the cl- Sleepy Hollow. The only one does a corn dog. They do the funnel cakes and everything like that. And you got better corn dogs at Disneyland. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do have better corn dogs at Disneyland. What don't you have better at Disneyland? I, why are you yeah. coming here, Courtney? <laughs> she wants to experience. She wants to come. Yeah, yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, no, no I want you. Please come here. Yeah, then give on. it a, a Get try. that float, though. If you go into oh, Magic Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Tell them about this, Eek. Because this is, this, is this is a you thing. This is, yeah. I didn't want to throw this out there and tell it was the, one of the last things because that's what a good dessert should be. And I say, <laughs> when you're on your way out, whatever that pours that last day, give yourself that good hour and a half, and stop by and get you that nice, cold root beer. Food. And where is this at? The plaza, so the ice cream, yeah. Yeah, the ice cream plate, yeah. Because yeah, no, if you're worried about the heat, it's cold when you walk in there. Even with the doors open, it's cold in there. I just want to say to our Disney World people who are listening to us, like, you know, being like, look at these guys again, once again, loving on Disneyland and hating on Disney World. There's lots of great dining and great food and great experiences to have at Disney World. The problem is they're all outside the parks for the most this part. This is true. We will get into a lot of great restaurants Absolutely. at Disney World that are well worth the experience, even better in, in a lot of instances than Disneyland. Mm-hmm. It's just that it always happens to be outside the parks. But get that float before you walk out that yeah. makes it official might catch a parade or something like get the flow take a picture flow. with it send it to us we'll show you like yeah yes. make them very happy make everybody happy i just nope. want to extend an olive oh, branch to our disney world yeah, you should i mean yeah, no absolutely you yeah. know we've experienced both and that is really a a, a pleasure and a privilege and if you're a disney world fan you should make that journey to mecca as i always say and, and see, vice versa yeah and you should check it out because if it wasn't for disneyland we would have never had disney world very, very simple logic. There. Yeah, you got to know where you come from. And look, Disney World is really, it's the blessing of size, as Walt put it. You know, one of the things I would say, like, is one of the things I heard you say when you, you said, like, when she got here, the first day was going to be like a rest day or something like that. And they were just looking for things to do. They went to check out the boardwalk, the boardwalk area. Broadwalk. Broadwalk. <laughs> I like Broadwalk. That sounds like Eli on a Saturday night. There you hey. go. Hey. What? Seven hundred dollars makes you happy. Got a couple hours to that. Hey, I I go right now. Walk. But one of the <laughs> things I would suggest if you get here and the parks are kind of closing down, you don't have tickets or whatever, jump on that Skyliner yes. and just get a sense yes. of oh. the vastness yes. of yes. what you've Very just immersed nice. yourself yes. into. Very yes, nice. I just. Blooged everywhere. That's great. <laughs> That's it. Just you want to you want to nap, man. Nap, nap. Walk around the gate out the hotel at the back. Walk around. I'll go through the boardwalk and then walk to the Skyliner station by the Epcot in, mm-hmm. International Gateway. And he's right. Take the entire route because you can yes. do a full loop and see everything. You can get out at studios, yeah. never go in, just get back on. 
Dude, it's it, that's a great fun little tour. Yeah, put, and you could see a bunch. Well, how many resorts? Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, five resorts. Lee, does that sound about right? Yeah, we got, well, got Riviera, Riviera, Caribbean, um, Hourglass Board Lakes. Walk. Got two, uh, Boardwalk. Uh, yeah, but you really get a sense of what you've just invested yourself into, and just a, a portion of it too. It's a lot yeah, bigger. yeah. But no, and that's a great idea, it's Danny. Awe inspiring. Great and, idea. And, and put the twelve year old in the middle. So that way they can't see the outside. Yeah, hit the one. Yeah, make sure the three year olds don't rock the car. Either. Yeah, just yeah, keep them in the that. middle. Y'all oh, enjoy them. Sight. They're going to be like, my God, that to them is probably going to be one of the best rides they ever had. Yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah, I mean, because to, to a three year old dangling by a wire is well, even to me <laughs> dangling by a wire, you know, thirty feet above the ground is an adventure. Yeah, that's yeah. trust. Yeah, it's absolutely it trust. Is. All right, so we talked about dining in Magic Kingdom. Let's talk about attractions. And just to remind you, the 12 year old does not ride anything with drops or anything that gives gotcha. her the butterfly sensation. Like, oh, it's so tough. So consider her a third toddler, she says. So, attractions uh, unique to Walt Disney World, they don't have a Disneyland of anything that's left. What would you suggest? Unless she has a really morbid curiosity, I would say you don't have to do the Monsters Inc. laugh floor. I get it's different. I get it's something that you don't have where you're from. I get you might want to just take a look just to see what it's about, but it's not in any way anything you need to do at all. <laughs> you could do it, but yeah. I mean, you know. unless you're just dog tired and you want to sit down for a few minutes, but and you will you be. Just, you could just do that and sit on a bench mm-hmm. outside of the, you know, the restrooms or whatever too. If the choice is go back to the room early or go check out Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, the answer is always go back to the room. Always go back to the room. There's <laughs> not any reason to do Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor that I'm aware of. While you're in that area, though, Buzz? Now they say people mover. Oh, uh, yeah, because yeah. they don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, okay, so that is something to say, but this isn't going to be, I'm, we're just going to speak to you and your husband, right, the, the, as Disney fans. And, and maybe even your 12-year-old, when it comes to traditional Disney rides, there's not that many that are must-dos over at Disney World that you can't get at Disneyland. But People Mover, as Lee just said, is definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Is it going to blow your mind? No. But it, you know, there's something traditional about that. Y'all had it at one point in time. It could be good for the kids because yeah. you know, maybe the parents or the grandparents even may have experienced at Disneyland before they took it away. Sure. Yeah, and it's a chill Tried ride. Tried to do it. rocket rides, but that's a whole different story. Carousel Progress. That's yep. what I was going to say. That used to be in yeah. Disneyland. is no longer there anymore. Not, not promising greatness. No. Yep. It's definitely very dated. But for true... Disney fans, this is a piece of Disney history yeah. that I would suggest catching at least one. It's good to rib on. I'm, I'm not, like, I won't say it's like in the vein of seeing Walt's apartment or anything like that when you go to Disneyland, but it's it's kind of similar. It's New York World's it's, Fair it's, history. It's a yeah. Yeah, It's adjacent. If you're a Disney nerd, it's a good attraction. If you just want to go and have like fast rides and you know go, go, go and you know get thrills and stuff like that, no. But if you're a Disney nerd, it's a it's a good attraction. I mean, yeah, I mean, even if historia Disney history is that what that attraction is? That would help the twelve year old. So like, you know, that would kind of help put yeah. over the parent yeah. and say, "Hey, we was thinking about you. Check this out." I don't know if the twelve year old is gonna like Carousel Progress. I know, but, but at least it might be like, you know what, baby, I should try the drops. Cause it's it's more is... for the Disney historian. I would put third at Country Bear Jamboree. Oh well, of course, that's yeah. another thing. They don't, was, they don't have that anymore, right? That was you know? taken yeah, away from them. Yeah. Away, yeah. Oh, wow. So you can see that one. Yeah, yeah. definitely check that out. Good Again, singing, one time, singing. one good time mm-hmm. as a Disney historian. That's three. Four would be probably Spaceship Earth. Is well, the that's classic. Epcot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's Epcot, but I'm, I'm trying to think of traditional Disney rides. Spaceship Earth, classic A ride. Again, it's it's more educational, and it is the quintessential element of what Epcot used to be. Okay. But then fifth, to kind of bring it back to Magic Kingdom, I would say Hall of President. I was thinking, I was thinking that too. Yeah. yeah. And you get to cool down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, 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 my apology. Six. If you're really desperate, you can still see the original Swiss family Robinson Treehouse oh. as opposed to the Tarzan, Tarzan Treehouse. Yeah, <laughs> If you really want if to do that. If you're so inclined. Don't feel like yeah. you have to do that. And that's the six that just popped in my head. And I'm sure Kirk's yelling because he's probably got another one. You know, I, I might even add in there, and I know they have it at Disneyland, but it, maybe you want to check out our pirates to see what they did. 
which is totally different than what they do at Disneyland. I like the queue for pirates here much better than. Oh Disney. yeah, I can see that. Can yeah, see sure. That, yeah. But I, I, I can't imagine that as a selling point. Like, hey, dude, whatever you do, wait in line for this. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, Haunted Mansion, great queue. Haunted Mansion, so many more elements that Disneyland true. doesn't have. This is true. That Disney World does have this. The staircase, for instance, the CGI ghost at the end and mm-hmm. whatnot. So, I mean, there are elements there that they can experience. I mean, this it's always little it's things. Like yeah. I mean, yeah. I would yeah. say small world, not really necessary. Yeah. I think theirs is better. I, I agree, but uh, I guess we have that little flooded. That's the only thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, where Rolly Crump said to flood it. Yeah. And I, we all have all the Disney characters in your small world, but we sure. don't. So I guess that would be the only difference. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Not really. Well, now we're just talking about attraction. So obviously, of course, we got to say Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is well, unique yeah. to us. Yeah. Is is unique to us. It's something that you should ride. It's something your kids would ride. So yeah, it's uh, not that tall. So at three years old, you should be able to make it. Just make sure those kids have some padded shoes. <laughs> but there are dips, <laughs> so I'm not sure if the twelve year old would be down dig not, with it. It's fast, yeah. but it's not. It's not that. Oh no, I lost gravity feeling. Like yeah, but I'd know. say those dips are more than the Radiator Springs dips for sure. I would yeah. agree a hundred percent. There must be something about Radiator Springs racers because why select Radiator Springs racers and not necessarily Big Thunder Mountain? Well, I think it could be just an re- example though. So that's what she yeah, said. Anything be. with any, I would say anything with bunny traditional bunny yeah. hops, coaster bunny hops that give like airtime that she doesn't like. It's like Princess in the Pea. Like that's how sensitive. The, she could be. the yeah, issue is if it's like could be. that little know. dip is like yeah. that. It's like, oh, yeah, well, don't go to the big one. I don't know yeah. off the top of my head what the height limit is on Seven Doors of Mind. Mm. But it is well worth it. It's a very smooth ride. I don't find any flutteriness happening anywhere. My kid rode that easily say, Yeah, when, when she was, she was yeah, when she was three. And that could be so, something where the grandparents watch the kid, y'all the child swap, and child then y'all swap. change turns, and the grandparents mm. can ride it. Mm-hmm. If they don't want to go into that, and that's totally fine. There's other little things, yeah. Yeah, beyond that, I mean, there's Bell's uh, Enchanted Tales. I mean, that might... That, the kids might dig that. Yeah, that might work. I mean, that's totally agreeable for all ages, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's a little show. I mean, I, I like the Q area to Our Mermaid better than at Disneyland, of course. Uh, oh, yo, oh, God, yeah, I would 100% agree on that. It definitely fits the theme of the ride better than... But it's than the same ride. It's the same ride, yeah, so yeah. you don't even have to worry about it. Maybe just walk through the queue and then go out the exit. I don't mm-hmm. know. If it's you want to like see that. two Dumbos next, to double Dumbo, yeah, you want to see with a Dumbos. nice little Dumbo queue area, yeah. waiting, holding area. That's something. The three year olds actually would probably like it too. That's yeah, it. It's yeah, stuff double do. Dumbos. Yeah, you double can take a picture and send it to Lee. That's what you could do. And there's also, of course, the great Goofini. I mean, uh, Barnstorm or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that also works well as a as a kitty. It's over before you even register. It began. Even if your twelve year old gets a little bit like freaked out by it, by the time she's register what happened it's already done <laughs> right it's it's really it's a beginner coaster for kids yeah and just make sure 100 percent you skip tomorrowland speedway whatever you do yeah it, if you wrote autopia you got the better version uh, it kind of goes with that scenario and again uh, and by better version i'm lo- i'm using it very loosely because i don't think either version is all that speedy <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. no the best it's good for is good views yeah. good views of the um Space Mountain and all that. Space I mean, yeah, you can see where Tron's being built. Sure. Yeah. 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 And by that point in time, Tron is probably going to be up and running, I would think, Who right? Knows? Who knows? Who knows? It could be. If that's the case, then yeah, you could definitely try that. Yeah. A couple of things, just uh, if there's any suggestions without the kids in the parks, maybe they have some time to themselves. Or anything else they should check out to wrap up Magic Kingdom? What do you guys think? Well, will you say Magic Kingdom if they just have some time to themselves? Yeah, because there's going to be a couple of times I think I saw on their schedule which, without kids or a couple of things. Yes. Oh. So maybe they run into that, this, like must-dos without kids uh, that we recommend. Check out the art gallery for sure. Damn straight. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Take the time to look at that. They've moved that now. That's over by Bell. It's not as impressive yeah, as it used right. to be. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, that's my jam. I, I, um, I love that. Do they have a Harmony Barbershop in Disneyland? No, no, no. Not in Disneyland. Disney World. Disney World, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying like that's something that's unique. Get a haircut? You yeah, but to. you need reservations yeah, and whatnot for that. But yeah, for sure. Nothing to Magic Kingdom just calls to me as a, no. as a single or without kids situation. Just having an adult day in the Magic Kingdom where you get yeah. to ride rides without worrying about the consequences, without focusing on the kids, and y'all yeah, just kind of appreciate it as a couple and appreciating yourself it can be something special it can it absolutely can be 
but coming from Disneyland, you probably already experienced it's on that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, but there's no way. I think the only advantage here, and I think to your point, is that now that they're out here and it's a bigger trip and they have that time alone as opposed to where they already are and all the kids are like where you going you know how mm-hmm. it is your parent you know you're like me and mine we just gonna go and like have a little dance where you going you can't leave us so now you got the grandparents yeah be a kid be a kid if if, if you want to experience that favorite ride go ahead i also do just it. one thing they could yeah. do without the kids because i know they probably wouldn't do it but they can ride the original Space Mountain. Mm. You know, they could check it out. This is the version that came out before they, the double tracks before they had theirs. That's a great suggestion, Kevin. I like that. Let's rest on what yeah, Kevin said the, there. Yeah. That's the best argument is, hey, listen, if there's one thing to do for yourselves and the other kids they can't do it, the, the, the three-year-olds can't do it, the 12-year-old probably is not going to want to do it, experience the very first iteration of Space Mountain is a great suggestion. Touche, yeah. Kevin. There you no, go. That's very well done, Kevin. All right, let's go to All right, Epcot. let's move on to Epcot. Epcot. So back to one dining reservation. Maybe keep in mind counter services is their thing. Mm. But if it's worth it in Epcot, they'll be open to it. Well, the good thing about Epcot is, is that you really don't have to be tied into counter service. No. You just walk around World Showcase Grab a brat in Germany. Grab some sushi over in Japan. Grab some talk, street tacos in Mexico. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you can pretty much uh, fish and chips in Germany. Uh, like, um, yeah, in Germany. UK. My yeah. God, England. Yeah. Yes, England. UK. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can pretty much sample the wares. This is going to be the one park for you that if this is what you're into and you want to sample a whole lot of different cuisine, perfect. Yeah, yeah, and if I had to guess, I mean, a lot of the countries that are there, you probably have really good versions over in California outside mm-hmm. of Disney, period. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm sure you have a great hibachi place. I'm sure you have a great sushi place. I'm sure you got a Canadian no, they place don't. too. No, I mean not in Disneyland. I'm just talking about oh, just in general. Yeah, okay, in okay, 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 okay. You know, because because the, the Asian population stuff. I'm sure they sure. have killer places like that that blow the park stuff out of the water. I like how you put your people on the map like that. Nice. Yeah, hey, you know, I mean, we'll throw some Moroccans in there. I'm put sure they love. got a Moroccan population with very good restaurants versus. I mean, our restaurants pretty good. But. It just it Ooh. sucks because. Yeah. Of all the restaurants, <laughs> uh, so if you're talking about a, a theme park that has good dining, that's the park, it is right? The park, it's right. like, but it's all sit down restaurants. Yeah, mm-hmm. Spice Table, uh, that brilliant. Oh yay, brilliant. Uh, Chef de France, Chef de France, you is know, another good one. Italia, all that. I mean, there's so many great restaurants in and around Epcot, but you don't need to do them all. No. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It almost works better if you do sample a little bit from each country. I would grab agree. a brat, cut it in half. Y'all share that. Go grab sushi. You have three pieces of the hand roll. She has. Yep. Yeah, th- yeah. Get a kakagori if you want to do that over mm-hmm. Japan as well. Um, I would make a suggestion is like when you're in France, get that Grand Marnier slush. Oh, for sure. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you got orange Grand Marnier slush. That's a that's counter service <laughs> technically. It, it's a little drinky poo and it's really delicious. Well, there's your adult. Uh, so just skip a forward. I mean, yeah. yeah, go try a cocktail and each and every, even if you're just sharing it amongst the two of y'all. So just that way, taste, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Better. When you have adult time, drink around the world. There's eat around the world. You can do both. Yeah. Yeah, there's Easily. so many options. Um, we're not going to get onto them all here. You'll find them online, but each country has more than one signature drink that you can try. And entertainment to boot in, the, in yeah. conjunction yeah. with yeah. that. Yeah, it's fun just to walk around just taking all the sites for sure. Mm-hmm. Epcot is just... The uh, only thing I'll say is, as Danny mentioned before, the kids probably would like to check out Space 220. They probably would like it. Yeah, yeah I would agree. Is it the best food? Hell no. But what I would suggest is trying to get a reservation for the lounge instead of the table. And it's a, you don't have to do the uh, the prefix menu, and you can just order a couple things here and there and be good. And you still get the atmosphere. Yeah, and I think they're going to be mesmerized by yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, who knows nowadays? Everybody's got an iPad. And, um, yeah. That, yeah, but it's still kinda, cool. It's a yeah. cool experience. All right. So. But there's also things like uh, Ratatouille, uh, Three Caballeros, mm-hmm. Frozen Ever After. A bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a Journey in Imagination. There's a lot of stuff. A lot more things for the kids that you're going to see there that you wouldn't see in Disneyland. Correct, yeah. I mean, we do have Soren around the world, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So you want to see that, but I think your theming over there at Disneyland's better. I mean, Living sure. in the Land, go with Living in the Land. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah, even uh, Horizon's Green Track might be something. Horizon, uh, uh, space. Uh, uh, yeah, Mission, Mission space. space, my bad. But thank you for saying Horizon's. Okay. I'm sorry, I my see mind is still where stuck where it's stuck. Where but, it should uh, be, yeah. I see yeah. where you're at. I see, I see um, you. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. I mean, there's the Cosmic Rewind. I mean, sure. a lot well, of that stuff is not going to be for the kids, for sure. That's not going to be. But no, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is a lot of stuff will be for the kids. Like, 
There's a lot of stuff for the game. Yes, and then everything and living with the land, all that stuff, which is not exclusive to that. But yes, Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously. Nemo is safe. You could do that. Yeah, Nemo is safe, but they got the better version with the submarine. Although it is cool to see Nemo interact with real fish. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, that's true, yeah. You project it onto an aquarium, yeah. Right, yeah. They don't have real fish. No, (laughs) they don't. In that submarine ride. I will say one non-recommendation is the Living Seas bathroom. I'll throw that out there. Ah, don't mm, do that. Don't mm. do that. Yes, yeah. th- definitely don't do that one. All right, so there's Epcot. We tried to talk about where the dude killed, yeah. like shot himself. Oh, no, this can't go oh, in. Wait, this can't go in. <laughs> Remember, we did that Halloween episode. The dude killed himself, like he had barricaded himself into, oh, the, yeah. into the bathrooms in Epcot. And I wanted to say it was either, I think it was back there. I think it was by the Living Seas. Oh, was it that bad? It was Living Seas. It was like, it was somewhere in that. <laughs> the, ghost, been, the, the ghost of that dude was could have been the imagination. It, that could have been that why might, you were having those troubles. That, that might have been it. it. Ooh, I ain't going to lie. You scared me when you started off with it. I didn't know <laughs> that. I forgot I like, about oh, that. Oh, Danny, yes. what are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that was definitely it. All right, cool. So that's our recommendations for Epcot. So hopefully that gives you some idea. And so just to be considerate of time, we're going to pin it here and then continue our discussion on the next show. On the next show, we'll give our recommendations for Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and everything else in the world. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll be curious to see what maybe some of the other weekends want to stay. And so they can chime in. You can chime in. And we're going to tell you how to get in touch with us in just a little bit. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed that episode of the Magic Our Way podcast. Look, magicourway.com is the way to go. There you will find our social media links, past episodes, and more. Plus, if you want to get in touch with us to share your opinions on the recommendations that we gave, or if you have recommendations on your own, you can do so through the following ways. Shoot us an email at show at magicourway.com, or you can call or send us a text message at one eight one five weekend Yes, one eight one five mo weekend 669-4226. Hey, look, man, just to remind you, there are so many ways to support the show as a whole. Um, number one, make sure you book a vacation with Lee. Number two, get some comics from ivorycomics.com. And look, you can go to patreon.com forward slash magic our way. There you will find six awesome tiers to support this show. And any way in which you can support the show is deeply appreciated. Also, we want to thank you for being a loyal listener. And we yeah. always love hearing from our listeners like Courtney. Mm-hmm. Who wrote in want some trip planning advice that yeah awesome. we love it when our listeners book our shows for us yeah we'll definitely help you out for as much as we can and look all opinions are always welcome on the magic Ori podcast which makes us unique so make sure you get in touch with us today so my weekends we say quaharini my name is kevin and i'm danny magic out <laughs> I have every intention of eating those bananas for breakfast, but I still somehow 